So triangle inequality in the vector terms, it's the, formally speaking, it's something like this. Uh, for any two vectors in n-dimensional space, you always have that the length of a sum, length in the way we define the length as a root of a dot product with itself, uh, never exceeds the length, the sum of the lengths. Again, I draw your attention to the different meaning of the plus sign here. This plus, it's the vector plus. This plus is a numerical plus because this is a number and this is a number. It, it is quite expectable inequality, but if you think a little bit deeper into this, uh, the way we define lengths, uh, it doesn't really, nothing really suggests a priori that this, this is true. However, with the help of this cauchy schwarz inequality, which is established, established on the slide above, this is like becomes rather trivial argument. Look at this, what we do. We start with the left-hand side of this inequality. Well, technically speaking, I'm supposed to put a question mark over it. I'll put it in a second. Uh, over the inequality here. So we start with the left-hand side. We remember when we look at the length of a vector, this is a dot product of the vector with itself. You, when you when you look at the length, that's a dot product of the vector with itself. You can expand the brackets normally the way you expand the brackets with numbers because dot product is a is a good product. It doesn't have any uh, unnecessary phenomena, uh, like a difficult phenomena like product of matrices, for instance. If I do the expansion, and I'll do this time, it's already like a, a speedy version of that expansion. So you have this A with this A. You have double A with B because double double because this A will with this B it's one. A with B and this B with this A, it's another A with B. And you also have B with B with B, which is this B with this B. Now the, the key step in the whole proof is just when we replace this dot product with the product of the corresponding lengths. Uh, it's here. It's the dot product can be can be majorized by the product of the length. That's a cauchy schwarz inequality. I mean, without squares, without squares, this is a cauchy schwarz inequality, which is up there. If I use this inequality here, so if I use this cauchy schwarz, that's the key step in the whole proof. This one abbreviates to the square of the length of A. Here is the cauchy schwarz. I replace this with the higher number, with the larger number. And this is the replacement for this dot product of B with itself. Now, one of you can tell me this is a perfect square. One of you told me this before, but that wasn't really the place to tell it. This is a place to tell it. It's a perfect square. If I convert it to the, to the square, that will be something like this. And again, if you square root the left-hand side and the square root the right-hand side, this will be the triangle inequality, and the question mark is gone. 